Yeah. Hi, everybody. We're here with your favorite psychic medium, Sterling. Good morning, everybody, or wherever you're joining us from worldwide. Happy to be here. Is it a little sunny over there, or is it a little overcast? It's actually sunny and bright. Yeah. It's, uh, no we complaints. Got rain. We had a lot of intermittent rain like throughout the week and last week, but it's uh, pretty good this weekend. So awesome. That's great. Okay. So thank you guys for your questions and thank you to. Um, Sterling and his team and his wonderful wife, Linda. And By the way, before we get started, I was just going to mention, I was just going to congratulate you on the book, the success of the oh, book. Thank you. Oh, I by know. the way, your copy's in the mail. Autograph. Oh, is that like the checks in the mail or? Yeah. No, no. I sent it off. <laughs> I'm kidding. Friday. I'm kidding with you. I'm kidding <laughs> with you. But I, I, I know that you and I exchanged a text right around the time that was all going on, but we hadn't talked live before. So I, uh, I'm just saying congratulations, a great, great effort. I know it takes a lot of work to get those out and having some great success. You deserve it. So thank you. And you told me it would, would be successful. And I, I got to tell you, I broke into tears. I couldn't believe I figured a few hundred, but not thousands. Yeah, yeah. What's well, going to keep going? And you got some more books coming too. You know that, oh, right? Oh gosh, yeah. I, I'm so nervous. Yeah. And yeah. Then, you know, with uh, there's some mistakes on it already. We're going to do a second printing, and I just finished my audio last week when Tana was here. No, oh, good, good. But I sent you a hard copy. It took. I'm. I ordered those in February for my people, and those okay. mentioned, you and Linda are mentioned as you know. Uh, thank you, but. Uh, I I ordered it, didn't get it till the other day. So I hustled your copies and some people out Friday. I'll tell you, going through the United States Postal Office, I probably sent out 50 books. It was 60 bucks. Yeah, it's very, very reasonable. Very actually. reasonable. Yeah. Okay. So, oh, now we're going to talk about the wonderful questions you guys sent. Uh, first question, Bernie Marino just won the Republican nomination for U.S. Senate in Ohio. And by the way, Trump wants him to be the senator. Does he make it to the position in November? I, I don't see him winning, if that's the question. I think that's, is this Sherrod Brown is running against yeah. him? It's been there for a long time. Uh, so that's why I'm being told that that's who's going to win. However, they asked this question, I think they said making it to the end or something. He's not going to win the election, no. Okay, thank That you. is uh, Bernie whatever. Yeah, yeah. and my girlfriend works for Sherrard, so she'll be very pleased with your prediction. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Tina Peters, election official and former county clerk for Mesa County, Colorado, officially charged with messing with Dominican voting machines hardware, plus downloading its material and giving it to Michael Lindell, the pillow guy. Will she be convicted in her July trial and ja jailed for her crimes? Yeah, I, I actually see a conviction and like an 18 month jail sentence. So it's not years, but it's right, like but 18 it's months. Your lesson. There it's you like go. 18 months jail time plus like three years probation or something. Uh, okay. Yeah, it looks like it's going to end in a conviction. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that, that that was tied in with the the voting machine uh, debacle too. There are Dominion voting machines and all that. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm so glad. Um, Judge Aileen Cannon mm -hmm. is issuing some jury directions before she even has a trial date. By the way, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that are dangerously slanted in favor of Trump, even before there's a trial or a jury. Will she be taken off the case before the case goes to trial? If so, will it be fairer and more balanced? judge to be set in place uh yes to all the above so it looks like she'll be taken out before the trial starts and um and it does look an like another judge comes in that's uh, that's more balanced that, that's very true i've always seen that there's some other like federal district or something that comes in weighs in on aileen cannon and says you gotta go like wow. it's almost like three strikes you're out so i think she's already had like two strikes yeah there's a third strike coming up where it's like you're not following judicial protocol or something, and now we have to remove you because now it, it it's going to look like you were prejudicial, which she is, right? Yeah. So, yeah. so it looks like she'll be out. But also, she based on some of the stuff she's doing, it's on um, civil cases. Got nothing to do with federal. So she's using yeah. some sort of thing based on civil cases. This is federal. So right. uh, I really felt that Jack was waiting to to request that she get pulled out 
And yeah, I believe way, you predicted this. I, we did, yeah, well, ago. M- many months ago, more than half a year ago, at least, or something. Um, we, we talked about this. Um, I, I don't see, by the way, I don't see Jack Hands directly in it. It's like this is other federal gr- district of judges or something. They're the ones that are going to make the determination for whatever reason. So I see yeah, that. That makes sense because I just yeah. read something that a bunch of judges are very upset mm-hmm. by what she's doing. Mm-hmm. So she's making all judges look bad. Right, right. Will laws be passed to stop taxing Social Security? If so, when? Well, the when is the hardest part, but if so. Well, actually, uh, the when for me comes up in like the latter part of 2025. So as we get, so it looks to me like legislation gets passed like maybe late in 2025, then it gets enacted in 2026. So it's coming. Um, It's part of the next uh, presidential term and congressional term. Yeah, after the elections. So will they actually, uh, will the Republicans actually be able to mess with Social Security or is that off the table? I, I believe because of the majority that Democrats will have in the House and Senate, uh, that it's not going to happen. Yeah, They won't be able to monkey with it. And, and actually, the good news is you didn't ask this question, but when we get through the next election cycle, there'll be such a majority in the House and the Senate. You know, it's not going to be crazy, but it's a majority. Well, That's all you need. We're ahead. There'll be a lot of things passed that will uh, codify certain laws. And and actually, I see them, you know, uh, going through a lot of amendments to the Constitution, trying to add amendments to the Constitution with a two-thirds voting by states or whatnot. So a lot, like a cleanup on aisle five, a lot of cleanups going to wow. go on in the next number of years. Yeah. What about with the Supreme Court? Well, Supreme Court, definitely at least three new justices coming. You know, some of them are replacements and some of them. And there's going to be an ad as we get on a couple of years here. They'll add on to the the core team. Okay. So whether that's an additional three or something, meaning, you know, there, there's something going on here. Again, that'll be, I think, an amendment to the Constitution to make that happen. Wow. Okay. Um, will laws be? Okay. Will Nikki Haley become the Republican candidate if Trump doesn't make it to election day? No, not at all. And and I've been reading on this for actually for years that uh, 45 would be the GOP nominee, which he is now. Uh, Nikki is not going to be in the race. Uh, the, you'll see right through voting day, it'll be 45 and Biden. Okay. And then Biden will win the popular vote, the electoral college vote. It's going to be, you know, there'll be a certification process. It'll be a little bit of a circus, you know, but right. we'll get, get through it. Mm-hmm. But they only have one that other uh, congressman stepped down, so they have one, one left. Yeah, but I think they're going to play games with the electoral certification process again, or try. They're going to try. It's not going to be successful. So yeah. Okay. Um, is Russia going into Poland within the next two to three years? Unfortunately, the answer is yes, but it's not going to be a widespread invasion. It's going to be like sporadic fire and you know there's good but it's going to be shut down very quickly okay. uh so they are going to try to make an intrusion and it, it's almost like missiles make it in they say oh by the way that was a mistake that was a misfired missile or you know they're going to try to backtrack um but yeah there, there's a little bit a little bit of a collision going on with poland there yeah okay uh will Letitia james seize and sell trump's assets tomorrow you know, I, I see the process starting, but not necessarily going through to full completion. Now, what I mean by that is that I, I have always seen, I still see there's some offshore resources coming for 45. So okay. everybody's going to get a little surprised here. Um, but there's a little bit of, there's some back end, backdoor operations going with offshore entities. Uh, I think Saudis are involved and Russia's involved. Uh, for entertainment purposes only. Um, so it's going to slow down uh, some of the seizure or asset seizure and sale process. So there's there's money. Um, he's going to pull a rabbit out of the hat. Okay. Yeah. Which he tends to do. Yeah. But um, is some of that illegal? There's somebody overseeing his funds. Yeah, but you know what? They're not going to be able to trace it because it's, it's going to go through like what they call a SPAC, uh, which is like a special purpose acquisition company. They're actually going to do some uh, a shell game here. So that really gonna, not going to be able to tell exactly where all the money came from. Well, the good news is he's not doing events because he can't afford it. Right, right. And as much as we'd like to see him stripped, 
But he's going to lose the the presidential, which is really going to put him back because he's got so many other things he's going to be sued on. You know, it's interesting, by the way, as a side comment, you know, his family could put up the money, right? Oh. Daughter, son-in-law, they could certainly backstop, you know, half a billion dollars, uh, but they're not doing it, which is very interesting. Because they know who he is. Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. How much damage will the conservatives do to Canada? And will we be able to recover for the better in the long run? I've read on this before, uh, but what I get again is that Canada is going to go through a little bit of a rough ride here the next few years, kind of the way the U.S. has been going. I remember you saying it, It's always there's a bit of a lag effect in Canada and um, a little bit of a rough ride, but they'll, they'll come out of it just the way the U.S. is going to come out of it. But it just takes a while to kind of um, get rid of all those individuals and in the, in the political spectrum. So it's at least two, three years here that Canada's got some stuff they got to wrestle with, with the far right, some radical elements, and then they'll start getting it cleaned up. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Current polls show Larry H Hogan, a Republican, who is running for the Maryland Senate seat, is well ahead of two Democrats running against him in the race. If Larry Hogan wins, will that throw a major wrench in the Democrat seating Senate majority? Will Larry Hogan win the Maryland seat Senate? Looks to me like he will. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. Maryland of all places. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what it's looking like to me right now is that it's got some sort of momentum behind him or a lot of money. I think it's money. Yeah. Yeah. What's going to happen with TikTok and all of the creators earning a livelihood on that app? Well, TikTok's going to go through some ownership changes. That's very true. And it's an offshore entity that's going to buy TikTok. Uh, so it's still going to be an active platform uh, in the U.S. and around the world. Um, but, you know, here's the problem. The horse is already out of the barn. So all the data, all the personal data on people's mobile devices a lot of it's already been compromised, but it's been compromised by other social media platforms too. So even the fact they're changing ownership, it's kind of like a feel-good move. It's not anything that's going to be substantive in terms of guarding people. Okay. So the ownership will change. It'll there'll still be an offshore entity. Uh, won't be a Communist Party out of China, but um, you know it, it's a problem. But people that are concerned about earning a living on TikTok, it looks to me like the platform will still continue and have a life. But, you know, it's still going to be a problem. Okay. What's going to happen? Oh, hi, mm -hmm. Linda and Sterling. Will there be a time when the U.S. will have universal health care like Europe does? Medical costs are keeping people from obtaining basic health care. There will be, but that's not going to see uh, kind of implementation here again to like 2026. It's going to take a while for all that to get planned out. And I always see that being driven off of uh, the new corporate minimum tax of 15% that's going to go into effect okay. by taxing the largest corporations because the revenue has to come from somewhere. And my team has always been said like 2026, you'll start to see that roll out. For the time being, you'll see the Affordable Care Act still continue, what they call Obamacare. So it's still it's not perfect, but it'll continue. Then we'll get to a much more robust program like 2026. Yeah. Oh, that sounds good. Okay. Um, the Missouri Higher, Higher Education Loan Authority, the Student Loan Service Organization, is getting grilled by Congress this week. Will this help those with Parent Plus and student loans where it's where it's just runaway interest on loans. Yeah, it will be. You know, um, that that organization got really caught up in a debacle coming out of the pandemic. Now, not that they always did things well, but it's. I think there were like people being double and triple charge interest, and you know, they really uh, a lot of penalties. I do see Congress almost the way uh, Biden was for for giving loan debt coming in around all of that and kind of figuring, uh, reducing a lot of the penalties, interest expenses, and actually putting that organization, some sort of like a new legal scrutiny, almost having several officers helping to run that organization, like federal officers. Uh, yeah, they're, they're going to clean all that up. Wow. That they are. Um, so if anybody's worried about a lot of interest and penalties from that organization, um, I get that Within a number of months, could be right beginning of next year. Uh, you're going to start to see a lot of that ease up. Yeah, you know. great. Um, Ken Buck, the Republican who quit, 
said there are others that are planning to quit. Can you can you ask your guides how many and and when if possible? Yeah, and we read on we read on this before, even you know months and months ago here. Uh, it said at least there'd be almost half a dozen by the time we were done. Yes. I think we have I don't know three or four so far. Yeah. Um, I think another one announced or coming here from Alaska, right? Uh, is that Senator Markowski? I'm uh, going yeah. from over here in Alaska. But there, there's another one coming too. So we're we're just about the point here where we'll tip the majority in the House. Yeah, it's coming. Okay. So our guy, uh, Hakeem Jeffries, could be the speaker. Yeah, I, I do see. And we've read on this before too. That looks like very close to the election or before the election. Right yeah. around that time, it looks like he'll end up being able to get in. Um, it's almost like the door, what I see, proverbial, the proverbial door opens for him right around the election time or just before yeah well they're working against each other even marjorie and people the republicans are mad at her sure yeah okay state farm was who's my insurance or california's largest insurance announced it will discontinue coverage for seventy two thousand homes and apartments starting this summer the announcement comes less than a year after state farm announced it would not issue new policies in california california citing Historic increases. What options do you see for Californians? Or will the California insurance industry be renovated? What I see happening there is, is a metamorphosis, a whole change in the insurance industry, the way it's handled here in California. So let me explain. Just like the way they did the California Earthquake Authority, yeah. a lot of insurance companies didn't want to do that. So the government had to step in, create kind of a new vehicle for insurance companies to work with the state. I also see uh, state of California working with what they call reinsurers. Those are re reinsurance organizations. Those are insurance companies that insure insurance companies. So actually insurance companies pay proceeds to what are called reinsurers. Then the reinsurers take those proceeds and invest them in more profitable ways to backstop the insurance companies. Okay. So th there's a couple of things going on here that the public may not hear about right away. I just got a cold chill. Um, but by within a few months here, you're going to start to hear about uh, a kind of a California earthquake authority counter to that, plus a lot of reinsurers uh, being organized around major insurance companies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And uh, the, the, the insurance commissioner just approved the rates go up again. Yeah. Okay. By the way, his, is his last name Lara? I think I Lara think so, yeah. is, uh, I forget his uh, first name. Um I, he was on. He did a news clip. I noticed on ABC or something this week. But he said, if anybody's out there that had their insurance dropped, like by State Farm, everybody should contact uh, the insurance offices there in the in the state in the capital, report it. And then they also said they would assign an expert to each homeowner to help them find another insurer. Okay. So that's a message. That's a public service announcement. I have no uh, dealings any of that, but I saw that news press this week. So if you're out there, you got dropped. I think seventy two thousand people got dropped from State yeah. Farm. Yeah. Uh, contact the state insurance office. We've been on it fifty years. Yeah. Yeah. And also. Um, I called my state farm agent because I was thinking about selling this house and upgrading. And uh, they said, if you sell your house, they will not issue another policy in the state of California, only if I moved out of state. Right, right. Yeah. But people like farmers are still taking and all that. So, but I have the earthquake insurance, but you pay that separate from your regular insurance. Uh, that's probably the California earthquake authority. Yeah. Yep. Okay, how do people that have passed on communicate with each other on the other side? Just the way you and I do. Um, they actually can look very human-like, and um, I see them all the time. And I always tell people, if you want to get a little bit of an insight into that, go take a look at the movie What Dreams May Come with Robin oh, Williams. That's a good movie, yeah. uh, that, that movie was channeled. And, uh, you know, don't worry about the last part of the movie, the, a lot of purgatory and hell. That's all for artistic license to, to yeah. get popcorn sales but uh you can see you can actually look any way you want you can change the image of yourself yeah all right okay um will the irs and fbi investigate the gifts scotus has been receiving you know they they already are but unfortunately uh i don't see a lot coming out of it because it looks like it's just a real big 
Um, it looks like P, uh, SCOTUS members are going to be asked to leave or escorted out kind of a thing rather than big drawn out legal cases or seizure or going to prison. Looks like they're going to try to uh, get them to exit. So that wow. I see a lot of that happening. Yeah. I know Shelton is working on it. Mm -hmm. Um I do see them coming up with some, I do see eventually you, I don't know if you saw this, there will be term limits. Oh, sure. Or an I, age limit. I absolutely see that. Yeah. Okay. This is a good one. Please comment on Arkansas's politics. Will Sarah Huckabee Sanders lose in the next gubernatorial race? Well, unfortunately, you know, that is a, a very difficult race, but it looks like she's going to eke out a win. I know people aren't going to really want to hear that, but. No, and um, you know, she's at a 27% likability, but she'll manage. It, it, she has uh, she has some backroom, back end help going on to, to get her over the finish line. So, yeah, yeah I, you know, it, it, there's a lot of shenanigans going on in that race. Yeah. Oh, here's another good one. Hello, Linda and Sterling. Will we ever see an effective treatment or cure for stage four triple negative breast cancer? Absolutely. You know, and I've read on this a number of times. It's all good. I'm just being reminded that um, this, this gets into the CRISPR gene editing technology area. So they've already isolated what they call the BRCA gene, right? The BRCA1 gene. That's the one I think that's got a lot of responsibility for that type of cancer. They've already isolated that gene. And now the next step is to figure out then how to clip it out of the DNA. And then that the process then beyond that is to create a cure, a vaccine. We're within eight years of that happening. So big progress around, I'm um, hearing again, the BRCA gene. I'm not a doctor. I always have to say that, but uh, that's what they're telling me. Okay. Um, many are hoping for accountability for GOP congressional members. Are they going to be held accountable for being financially tied to Russia P via Lev Parnas' congressional testimony? That was... We knew this, but it, it, yeah, uh, that was a Lev Parnas. Uh, his testimony was very impactful and truthful, so it, yeah. it carried it carried a lot of weight. And, and there will be members of Congress; they'll be indicted. You'll see this coming up very shortly here. Um, and there will be some prison time, some jail time. Yeah. Um, is this after Jack Smith gets the January sixth done or before? Before, no. I, I see oh. some of the charges happening before that Jack Smith case starts. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, the recent news article in New York regarding squatters taking over a homeowner's home, and apparently they have rights. Will these laws be changed? They will be um, incrementally, as I'm being told. So what I mean by that is that there's a number of problems with the, the legal system right now. They're going to be changed incrementally. So, for example, I believe if a squatter is there for like 30 days, they all of a sudden get rights. And so you can't change the locks, you can't kick them out. I see like the first law being changed, that 30-day law, like where it doesn't matter if they're there two years, if they're a squatter, they're out. Right. Like, so they're giving legal rights if you're there 30 days. I see that being pulled back. I also see um, some sort of giving extra kind of extra capability or, or uh, divisional power to like local sheriffs. So being able to get in and actually escort people out like within like a time period, like within one hour, instead of like you have a you have a 10 day notice to vacate. No, you have one hour. So right. it's like a time. Uh, I see that. So there's some things happening here coming up right. very shortly. But the 30 day one looks like a number of states uh, within a few months here are going to pass that. So you won't have the ability to have rights as a squatter. Right. I did a uh, I watched a video of a guy who had his mother's house and they wanted to sell it. She had to go to a home and a, 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 a retired sheriff moved in with all her furniture and everything. So what he did is he had his mother sign a lease agreement with him. He drove over there, he moved in, he set up cameras. And then when she showed up, he said, your stuff goes out at midnight. And mm -hmm. then he went down to the sheriffs there because they had always said, sorry, dude, can't." they got furniture in there. And he said, this is what I did. And he asked cameras in case she dared try to come back in. And they were all excited for him. So there's also uh, there's somebody on the Internet. I saw it. Somebody sent me a clip 
you can hire him for like five thousand dollars, for example, and he's a professional yeah. squatter eradicator. So he actually goes in and you know forcibly, yeah, he gets squatters out. He gets it done. <laughs> yeah, and he, he charges five thousand dollars a case, but he's all over the internet. So uh, yeah, he must be good then. No, he he had a problem himself with his family, and that's how he learned all the techniques. And now he's applying to other people. Yeah. Well, here's the deal: a lot of problem with these squatters is they don't have the money to fight in court. Mm hmm. Wow. You know, by the way, as a footnote, there was a case also on the news where some lady was helping out a friend or like she completely got uh, evicted out of the house and let the friend sleep on her couch. And um, and then after about 30, 45 days, she said, like, you got to go. And she went to the police and they said at that time, if she's if your guest is there more than three days or 10 days, yeah, you can't kick them out. So there's a lot of problems with the laws right now, but I, yeah. those are all going to get cleaned up. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, can several psychic mediums all be in a room together or even across the country and actually read each other's thoughts or energy like you can with Trump and company? <laughs> well, the answer is you can. Um, it, it's it's like having the ability of having a cell phone in your hand. But now the question is, what number do you dial? Um, are you on a conference call? Are you just dialing into one person? It all takes energy. I think uh, one of the things I need to state here is that some people feel like when you have um, expanded psychic mediumship ability, you're open to everything all at once, all the time. And no, you have to actually kind of make the connection. Um, otherwise, it would come at you like a bulldozer all the time. Uh, so yeah, you have to control it. I always tell people too, the, the thing you always have to learn is how to turn the gift on and off and how to control the gift, not let the gift control you. Right. So, yeah. Okay, so um, I do have just a, two extra questions. One, okay. uh, the Russia deal that's going on, that ISIS taking, saying they did it, and Putin is saying, no, um, Ukraine did it. Do you see any trouble for that? You're, you're talking about the music hall, uh, yes. the music hall event that occurred. Um, I, I get 100%, it was ISIS. ISIS yeah. involvement, but um, but it's other bad actors worldwide. They're encouraging and funding ISIS, so they're getting there. They're trying to destabilize Russia. So it, it wasn't Putin doing it to himself, and it wasn't Ukraine. Yeah, some people thought um, that. Yeah, no. Um, they're actually these are other bad actors trying to make Putin look bad. Right. So, so you can't secure Putin, the country. Yeah. Is Putin going to hit Ukraine? Because he wants to make it out to be Ukraine. Well, you know, it's interesting when I look at what's coming up this week and we always cover that like on this show. But what I do see coming up this week is is one more aggressive move here or coming up from Russia. But then I'll see another corresponding aggressive move from Ukraine. Okay. So there will be something from Ukraine taking out resources, power. Uh, something happening here where Ukraine's like, we had enough. We're going to take out now this airfield. And they, they are power getting station. more from Europe. They're getting more stuff. Right. So yeah. So in terms of what's coming up this week, you are going to see some interaction, but that's nothing more. What my team is telling me an excuse for Putin to just try to go in, you know, the ISIS event is it, just really more of an excuse, you know? Yeah. And even the guys they were having on there, the terrorists and talking to them, they didn't speak Ukrainian. They they didn't even speak Russian. They came from somewhere else. Right. So, um, and my friend uh, Roy wants to know, down the road, do you see in the Supreme Court an LGBTQ plus member being able to be a justice and or a disabled person? In the Supreme Court. In the Supreme Court. I do. Yeah. It's within two to three years. Uh, I, but I, it looks like an LGBTQ plus, cause I think there are two categories there disabled or um, disabled, like in a wheelchair or something. Yeah, no, I know. And I understand that, but it looks like it's more of an LGBTQ plus, uh, justice that comes in, uh, not in one that's necessarily disabled, but then another four or five years, there, there are like one or two disabled people on the Supreme Court as, as it, it's going to get expanded. Um, That's great. So there's a lot going on here with the Supreme Court. Remember, one of the things that 45 did for the world is he pointed to everything that's wrong. You know, uh, in, in some respects, it's like it's like going to, you know, taking your car into the dealer and they hook it up to the computer. They go, here's all the 12 sensors that are giving us bad readings. You have bad this, bad that. Trump, you know, 
45 walked into the US and the world and said, here's all the areas that are highly exposed and you have to correct in the future. Okay. All right. Do you see anything coming up this week? And we just started to talk about a little bit of that, the Russian Ukraine activity. Um, I, I do see we're gonna we're gonna hear about again some offshore funding for 45 to get this New York uh th- problem handled, the one he's got with the now it's not gonna happen overnight, but we're gonna hear about a strategy that's going on here. Um, I also see more cancer drugs coming out for animals, namely dogs. So some new some new releases here coming up uh for dogs. Yeah. Fantastic. And um, do you have anything your guides want to share? For this week, uh, kind of a very simple but an important message I I kept hearing this week. Everybody take the time to ground yourself, no matter how you have to do that. Because a lot of people are taking information constantly from friends, family, the media. You have to learn to ground yourself. Now, what does that mean? That means you have to devise a way, and it's different for everybody, to disconnect your logical mind from your spiritual self. Some people, that's meditation. Some it's cycling or jogging. Some it's flying an airplane. Whatever you have to do, I just got a cold chill. You have to (laughs) learn how to disconnect your mind. And you know you're successful at it. When you come out of the activity, it takes a while to figure out what you are worried about. So that's the key. And I, I I have some things, you know, that I do here and there that really help me disconnect. And then I think, wait, what was I thinking about before I did that? That Oh, oh I have to like bring it back. So okay. that's how you know you. So take some time to ground yourself. You can't walk around in a state of hysteria. Yeah. Yes. And a lot of us do people. I don't know. I know they write you too. And they're already reactive to something they heard you can't be doing that so yeah, absolutely absolutely yeah. but it's understandable we're all yeah. afraid right now right well thank well, you and in, how in did closing get yet, a, hold of you? a quick footnote you know we have a, a youtube channel as you know sterling psychic medium here on youtube you can reach that and then for those who want a session just go to sterling psychic medium.com and look for the book a session tab and i think there's some dates in july august and september available right now so very easy very straightforward i get a lot of people that have said thank you for referring sterling a lot of people love your readings and, and by the way Vice versa. I, I hear, oh. I read a lot of people that go, you know, I've had three readings from Linda. She's wonderful. And, uh, you know, and people that are real uh, long-term clients of yours. So I hear a lot well, of good things. I just went yeah. back. I stopped reading and I went back in the holidays and it sold out in a m- minute. So then I'm booked now through December because I felt bad. So many people wanted readings. Now I have five pages of people on a list that want readings. But I'm going to have to stop again next year. I'm not going to read book. I, I, I know people are going to be upset, but I do have a cancellation list. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, someone did cancel the other day and I was able, hey, do you want this? Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. Well, but well, it's that... very hard to read. It's very hard. How many do you read a day? Um, no set number. It just depends on how my schedule is, right? My, okay. uh, so my other schedule. So, um, but it does take a lot of energy. I tell people that. You know, uh, years ago, people used to say that they did readings and it completely energized them and they could run and play a football game. I said, well, I don't know about that. When you really get into the the space and it, it does, it consumes energy. You can And you have to readjust because you go with one person, you meet a new person and you have to totally readjust. Yeah, it, it's a focus. You can think about it as like intense focus. Um, it's like doing anything that takes in- intensity. Um, so if you do it for hours at a time, uh, it, it gets tiring. Yeah. So yeah. you, yeah. Anyway, it's all good though. All good. Thank you. It was wonderful seeing you again. So the last Sunday, we decided the last Sundays of the month. Exactly. We'll do the last Sundays of the months going forward. Yeah. So the next one is in April and that would be April 28th. Okay. If that's okay. Yeah. April 28th. Thank you. Because I'll you don't it, really, you I'll don't really, it, uh, we did this because, because you were just starting off, but you don't need me anymore, but I really appreciate you. No, you know, we, we said a lot of love, you know, Lynn and I both love you a great deal. Your family, well, you are like, family the, 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 the schedules, the schedule is getting crazy. So that's all it is. It's not that I don't need you. Uh, I know, a- but even if the schedule wasn't crazy, you, you're just taking off and doing, people are just really thrilled with you. And th- well, you this is one of my highest videos whenever I have you on. Well, that's great. That's wonderful. You know, I, I tell everybody, and I think you you feel the same way, we're just trying to help. I think everybody in the world really just uh, needs to find out a way that they can help, however that right. is. 
you know, donate an animal shelter or, you know, yeah. uh, volunteer work or whatever it is, but everybody has a gift and just try to understand what your gift is and try to help. We're all just trying to, we're trying to move the world forward. That's it. So. And what a great community. There's so many good people out there. There are a lot of wonderful psychics and mediums out there and readers and everybody's really, and, and they all add to the good of everything going on. They really do raise the vibration. People are right. depressed or worried. It, it all does help. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Mike. All right. All Thank the best. You. Thank you guys for coming.